Today I want to talk to you about a very special book that is extremely short and that everyone should read. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. Hey everybody, this is Zach the Money Nutritionist. It's my job to give you healthy money tips, but today I want to switch it up a little bit. And I want to give you just a healthy tip in general. And it comes from a book that I've read actually multiple times, and it's pretty small, like it's really short. And it's called Steal Like an Artist. And it's by Austin Cleon, and this book is no joke, 130 pages, but if you look at it, these pages have like some pictures and very small um, writing on here. There's only like six inches of pages there. So this is a book I recommend you should pick up, but the points that the book makes are enormous and they can change your life. So the title of the book kind of gives away what the book's talking about, right? Still like an artist. But the overarching message is that artists steal, and that's what they do. And that you need to look at being creative in a different lens. So what he means by that is that almost anything that you experience in life has been duplicated, meaning we don't create anything original. All of our movies, all of the books you read, if you notice, they follow a storyline that's usually done before. Like it's not original. So if you look at art in the sense that you don't have to create anything original, then honestly you can create anything that you want. Just look at music. Look at how many songs are duplicated and they're still popping up on the radio and the artists are making millions of dollars by just repeating the same stuff and using the same things over and over and over. I'm sure you've seen those videos where guitarists can take the same chord and play a multitude of songs using one chord. So that's the example is no one's recreating how you read and write music and the songs that they're making aren't original. It's notes that already exist. You're just putting them in a way that makes it a little different. If you're trying to do something like starting a business or create a video or make a painting, you don't have to think so much about being original and creating something no one's ever done before. Facebook, for example, MySpace existed. Facebook was just adding a piece of exclusivity based on your college email address so that no one could get on unless you went to college. That was the only thing that was really different. And then they started just tweaking a little bit of things here and there and now you have Facebook. Apple, that was not the first personal computer Look at all the examples you have out there. Amazon wasn't the first company where you can buy stuff online. Neither was Alibaba, but they're all massively successful. And the point is, to do something, you don't have to be original. You just have to steal it. Now, the book does go into other good topics about being creative, things like do what you already know and understand. Uh, don't let geography hold you back because you can be creative from anywhere. It was also talking about how you can be boring. It's okay to be at home and be creative. You don't have to go out and get high and drunk in order to write a crazy novel. Like you can be boring and sit at home in your pajamas and do something creative. So there are a lot of good tips in this book. I highly recommend it. I would give it a nine out of 10. And again, it's Still Like an Artist by Austin Cleon. It's very short, very easy to pick up. I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna get a copy off of Amazon. And if you have any other questions or if you've read this book, drop me a comment and I'll see you in the next video.